Hey everybody, welcome back this week as we continue our walk through the Westminster Shorter Catechism. Last week we were on question 20 where we learned that God, out of his mere good pleasure, um, elected some to everlasting life and entered into a covenant of grace to deliver us out of this estate of sin and misery um, and to bring us into an estate of salvation by a Redeemer. Uh, so question 21 this week asks us, who is the Redeemer of God's elect? The answer is the only Redeemer of God's elect is the Lord Jesus Christ, who being the eternal Son of God, became man, and so was and continueth to be God and man in two distinct natures and one person forever. So the only Redeemer of God's elect is the Lord Jesus Christ. Think of the word only. It's a small word, but it's so important here. Uh, the word only meaning single or solitary, um, none like it. Think back through... Have we seen this word used in any of our previous answers as we've been walking through this shorter Westminster Shorter Catechism? Uh, if you said, hey, I remember that in question two, you're right. That's actually the first place we saw it. It said uh, where we were talking about the rule of God, uh, this rule that was to direct us how to glorify and enjoy him. It said the word of God, which is contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments, is the only rule to direct us how we may glorify and enjoy him. So the word of God in the scriptures is not this Westminster Shorter Catechism, for instance. It's not a book's Bible study. It's not um, commentaries or anything else. It is the scriptures. The word of God is in, found in the scriptures only. There's none like it. Um, we see this again in question five, the word only being used. We're talking about the question of, are there more gods than one? And the answer said, there is but one only, the living and true God. So there is none like him. There are other gods, but there are no other, capital G, God. Um, so as we look at this only redeemer of God's elect is the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's look at some scripture. 1 Timothy 2 verses 5 and 6 says, For there is one God, there is one mediator between God and men, the man Jesus Christ, who gave himself as a ransom for all, which is the testimony given to the pro at the proper time. Acts chapter 4 verse 12 says, and there is salvation in no one else, for there is no one, under, no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. And John chapter 14 verse 1 says, And Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So not only is this only Redeemer of God's elect, the Lord Jesus Christ, but he is the eternal Son of God. So he is God's Son. We see in Matthew chapter 3, uh, during J uh, Jesus' baptism, John the baptized just baptized him, and you see this, hear this voice from heaven say, Behold, a voice from heaven said, this is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. And then again in Matthew, we see it several chapters later in chapter 17, where he's up on a mountain with the disciples and says, it's, this voice comes from heaven again saying, This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Now, not only is he the only Redeemer, this Lord Jesus Christ? He's the Son of God. Not only is he the Son of God, but he became man. He became one of us. Isaiah 9, chapter 9, verse 6 says, For, un, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. 
We also see this in John chapter 1, verse 14. It says, The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And then Galatians 4, verses 4 and 5 said, But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. So Jesus sent his son to be born under the law as we are under the law to live a perfect life that we could not do in order to save us and so this eternal son of god became man and was and continues to be god and man in two distinct natures and one person Romans 9 verse 5 says, To them belong the patriarchs, and from the ra their race, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is God over all, blessed forever. The, in the last word of this answer for this week says forever. So he, is, he continues to be God and man in two distinct natures and one person forever. Uh, Hebrews 7.24 speaks to this. It says, But he holds his priesthood permanently because he continues forever. So why, you may be asking yourself still, why is Jesus this only Redeemer? Well, it's because Jesus is God. We read that in the question here, in the question, or the answer for this week. Um, but because Jesus is God, we see Question four, where we ask, what is God? Uh, we see that Jesus is also infinite, eternal, unchangeable. In his being, wisdom, power, holiness, justice, goodness, and truth. He has the attributes of God. The first verse in the first chapter of John says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He is also called God. We read that a few minutes ago in Isaiah 9, verse 6. It said that he, his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. Um, he's able to do the works of God. We see that in, in, also in John. We see in John chapter 5, verse 21, it says, For as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whom he will. And lastly, I'll leave you with, he, he is given the worship that belongs to God. Uh, we see this in a vivid image in the last book of the Bible, in Revelation. We see this in chapter 5, verses 12 through 14. It says, Then I looked, and I heard around the throne, and the living creatures, and the elders, the voice of many angels numbering, myriads of myriads and thousands and thousands saying with a loud voice worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing and i heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. This is why the only Redeemer of God's elect is the Lord Jesus Christ. Thinking of the word, just the name, the title, Jesus Christ, Christ is not his last name. Christ is a title given, he, which means anointed one. Uh, praise God. Praise God for this vivid imagery that we see here of worship of God. Praise God that we're able to worship God. Praise him for this clear redeemer that has saved us uh, when we couldn't save ourselves. This redeemer who died and rose on the third day and lives forever in eternity. Praise him. 